Today we're going to learn how to create and administer polls for Zoom. This is a quick and efficient way to engage your audience. Before you create a poll, you have to go into settings and scroll down to in meeting basic and you're going to search for the poll function. You want to ensure that this is enabled. Once you've done that, you can click on your meetings and schedule a new meeting. When you have your meeting scheduled, you can click on that in the upcoming meetings. Scroll down to the bottom and you're going to see an area for polls. For this meeting, I've already created a couple of polls. To add the poll questions, you'll want to click on the add button and then create a title for your poll and then type in your question. You can choose between single choice and multiple choice and you can also have the responses anonymous or have names associated with the answers. Type in the possible answers and if you would like, you can add another question to this poll. When you're done, click Save. Now I have a meeting that has three different poll questions. Some are single choice, some are multiple choice. I can go back and edit and delete these polls. And when I'm ready, I can click Start Meeting. Now you notice on the bottom tray, I have an option for polls. When I click on this, then I can select the drop down for which poll I want. I actually created three polls, and so I'm going to launch this poll, and then I just wait for my answers to come in. Once I'm satisfied with the answers, I can end the polling. I can share the results and I can also relaunch the poll. Now suppose it's further on in the meeting and I want to launch a different poll. I will go ahead and ask a different question. I'll launch this poll. For this particular question, the respondents can choose all the answers that apply. I'm going to end the polling and I'll go ahead and switch to another poll question and launch this poll. Now I can end the polling and share the results. And that's how you can integrate polling with your Zoom meeting.